Welcome to a video presentation of Chapter 8, Section 3 in McDougall Intel's 8th grade textbook entitled Quadrilateral. When we're talking about quadrilaterals, we're talking pretty much about all the four-sided figures that we can talk about. All right, now, as you can see from the very first thing underneath there, I am going to use some shorthand today, and I have to make sure you're familiar with this shorthand. Three things I'll use primarily other than the angle sign that you already know. All right, two vertical lines. You can see two vertical lines. That means parallel. Parallel. The upside down T, that means perpendicular. Perpendicular means they form beneath at a right angle. And the wavy line with the equal sign underneath it means congruent. Remember, when we're talking about geometry, we don't say two angles are equal, we say two angles are congruent. Okay, so let's go through the definitions here. There you see all the different definitions for all the different quadrilaterals we'll study, but most of them anyway. As you can see, the definition of quadrilateral is at the top of the image map over there near the center of the board. All right, trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. A quadrilateral with one pair, or trapezoid, a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. That's it. Parallelogram. Quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. Quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. Rhombus, a parallelogram with four sides of equal length. Parallelogram with four sides of equal length. Rectangle, a parallelogram with four right angles. A rectangle, Parallelogram with four right angles. Square. A square is a parallelogram with four sides of equal length and four right <coughs> angles. A square is a parallelogram with four sides of equal length and four right angles. more time from the top. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four sides of equal length. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. And a square is a parallelogram with four sides of length and four right angles. All right, so now we'll focus our attention on the center and the right side of the board. The center and the right side of the board is where we find the quadrilateral image map. Now as you can see there is one last definition thrown up here and that's the definition of quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a closed figure comprised of four line segments, the sum total of the interior angles is 360 degrees. A closed figure comprised of four line segments, the <coughs> sum total of the interior angles 360 degrees. Now the quadrilateral image map shows you how all the different shapes are related. It also lists some, but not all, of their major properties. And what you would primarily have to do with these properties, you would have to be able to identify them, 
to be able to relate them to the shape. So for instance, if I gave you one, you'd have to say, oh yeah, that's a whatever. Or it could be um, like a true false thing, right? where I could say, true or false, this is the property of a parallelogram, that type of thing. All right. So let's go ahead and start off here to the right side, because as you can see, this branch only has one thing on it, and this particular branch ends a quadrilateral. So let's go ahead and start with a kite. A kite is exactly what you think it is. It's anything like a toy, you know, the thing you have to play with when it's a uh, windy day. All right. Here are the properties of a kite. Okay. First off, it has two pairs of adjacent congruent sides. Two pairs of adjacent congruent sides. Adjacent simply means they're sides that touch. That's all adjacent refers to. So, it's got two sets of sides that are the same. Obviously, as you can see the way I've drawn it, these two top sides would have the same length. These two bottom sides would have the same length. Right. The angles between unlike sides are congruent. The angles between unlike sides are congruent. So, this angle here between this side and this side, and this one between this side and this side, have the same measure because those are the sides that hit don't aren't matching in terms of their length. Right, third property, the diagonals make 90 degree angles. The diagonals are simply when you connect the unconnected corners. Right? So as you can see, I drew a line from left to right and top down. I connected all the corners. Right? Those lines are what we call diagonals and they make a 90 degree angle. And finally, the longer diagonal bisects the shorter diagonal. When we talk about bisecting here, that means it cuts it perfectly in half. Right, so this long one that goes up the middle cuts this one that goes from left to right in two equal pieces. Finishes that branch because as you can see, there's nothing that comes after kite. Rectangle here, which looks close to it, cut feeds off parallelogram, as you can see from this arrow here. So let's go ahead and go back to the other branch now. Trapezoid. Now, my drawing of a trapezoid is probably not exact because the only thing that's true about a trapezoid is it has to have one set of parallel sides. So how exactly you draw it isn't necessarily too concerning as long as you have one set of parallel sides. Right? So you could draw it in a lot of different ways that would still be considered a trapezoid. And that will be true for a lot of the different things here. Again, only one property of a trapezoid is it has one set of parallel sides. And again, that's what the arrows that go through those sides mean. You see arrows that indicates parallel. We didn't talk much about it yesterday. But when they've got the little hash marks in them, the little lines to the sides, that indicates congruence. So if they've got one here and one here, those sides are the same. Two here, two here would be the same. Okay, now trapezoid feeds two different ways. Trapezoid feeds to isosceles trapezoid, which is a specific type of trapezoid, and it feeds over here to parallelogram, which is related. Let's go ahead and go to isosceles trapezoid next. Isosceles trapezoid is probably what you're used to seeing.